Hey guys, quick story time, okay? So you guys know that I have nipple piercings, right? Okay. Now I've had these since last year of April, around, around my birthday, yes. Last year of April is when I decided to get them bitches done. Okay, now with these, the healing process takes a long time. Now with nipple piercings, nipple piercings are a bit different than regular schmegular, regular motherfucking piercings. Um, they kind of simply, well, with a lot of females that I know, they actually, you know, sometimes actually will never fucking heal. Now, that may be a little live sprinkle on there, but, um, you know. Anyways, back to the story. So, I had took a shower one night, and this was maybe, I forgot the actual, I forgot the day of the week. But I took a shower one night, and I had took my nipple piercings out. I don't fucking know why. I wish I knew why, but I don't know why. I took them out, you know, basically most of all just to clean, to clean, you know, my nipple, whatever. And I never take them out. So I took them out, never put them bitches back in. Now that's where the mistake was. If you're taking nipple piercings out, make sure because i know that it's, a, it's some females they 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 ask me about nipple piercings how much they hurt whatever whatever if you take your nipple piercings out please make sure that you put them bitches back in within a few minutes okay because they will start to close up within a couple of minutes on your ass and i am not kidding i'm not bullshitting i'm not i'm not just saying this because you know i'm being dead ass right now one second <laughs> Anyway, so I took them out and I left them bitches out for a day. It wasn't even two days. It was, it was, well, hmm, two days. Yeah, it wasn't even two days when I took them bitches out. So when I realized that I had them out for a day or so, you know, I didn't really think anything of it, you know, and when I wear them, when I was wearing, I was wearing them at the time you know they were healed they were you know they were doing fine they were perfect um but I took them out for a day and it was like nighttime and I was like oh look I and I and I before this I realized that my nipple person still weren't in my fucking nipples and I didn't put them back in another mistake but I realized they weren't in and then I put them in right I tried to put them in I tried to put them in them bitches was closing the fuck up. Mm -hmm. They close up on my ass. Now, me, I was like, oh, bitch, you got me fucked up. If you think I'm gonna go back to my piercer and get these shits read the fuck done, hell no. I love my nipple pair things. I I love nipple piercings, okay? They look, you know, they bring, it's, it's jewelry on the titty. Why wouldn't you want, you know, you know? Why wouldn't you think that shit's cute? Any fucking way. There's threaded and there's, you know, threaded and not threaded, obviously. What the fuck ever. Threaded and non-threaded. Um, I usually like threaded, I believe. Well, on the jewelry, it's at the end, it's sort of like, it looks like a screw part. And that's not really good for the pier the piercing, you know, because it can tear meat and flesh inside of your your body. I like to use the one what's, you know, it's, it's like a bar, it's straight. The whole fucking thing is just solid. Um, So I had to use the one with the screw on the end. And well, actually I use both actually. This is kind of a, worrisome and weird process of how I put these bitches back in, but I fucking did it, okay? This nipple here, the right one, it took a little elbow grease, I mean, but it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as this one. Now, you know, I had to push, 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 and because basically I was trying to get that bar back into, like back through the hole, because inside, like the holes outside of the nipple were still there, but inside was where it was starting to piece back together and, you know, close up. I was like, bitch, you got me fucked up, man. 
I, I, I got this one in, thankfully, you know, it wasn't as painful, but this one, motherfucker, the left one, this one right here, oh, no, no, this one, listen to me, I spent about two hours trying to get these bars back in my damn nipples. I did it, though, thankfully, because... And let me tell you something, piercer, because me and my piercer, well, we follow each other. I don't talk to him that much, but whatever. Piercer, what's up, babe? I, if you see this, I'm sorry, but I had to, because you got me fucked up. I mean, I had to do this. I had to push them bitches back in. Right now, they're doing fine. They're doing wonderful. They, they, they don't even hurt anymore, you know. When I had to push them back in, it felt like I had just gotten them bitches done and I'm not fucking lying. I was like, yo, why? I mean, I'm not a bitch. You know, I, I, I take pain pretty, pretty well. But yeah, hold on one second. Anyways, um, this one, it took about an hour and 30 for this one. Literally. And I said it's, it was, a, it took about two hours in total. So yes, you can see where the, the shit was. And this was like four or five o'clock in the morning. I swear, when I decided to put them back in. And I'm so glad that I did not wait another day because if I would if I would have waited another day, my nipples, the holes would have probably closed all the way up. And I probably would have had to go get it back and get it redone. Now, I, I wouldn't have gotten to go get it redone right then and there. Only because if that happens, you have to let that bitch heal first. And you're basically just going to be repeating through scar tissue and it's going to hurt even more. So that's why I did not want, to, you know, I did not want to fail on getting these back in because I'm like, bro, if one day there's, there's, I, I, there's, there has to be a way to get these bitches back in. If it was just one day, you feel me? So, um, this one, I mean, yeah, there was blood and, you know, I just, I just kept trying to, you know, push the bar back and, you know, I, I had used tweezers to take like the, the scar tissue that was inside of the nipple and it just pulled right up. It just pulled right out. I was like, yo, what the fuck is this? I, I felt like I was basically doing surgery on my own body. Of course I was being sterile, you know, cause you don't want infection, obviously. And my body, my body is pretty well with you know, pain and or infections or I, I tend to heal very quickly. But this is just a quick little story of what the fuck happened to me um, with my nipple piercings. They're still here. They're still kicking. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let them heal for, you know, just a mo another a month to wait and change my bars back out. But um, yeah, this one right here is an asshole. So, listen to me, ladies. And and when I was getting these these um, pierce, when I was getting these pierce, the funny thing is, when my piercer was over me and he was putting the jury in, he was like, "I have to, you know, I have to push this in pretty quickly because if not, the hole will close back up in a matter of seconds." And that nigga wasn't lying. He was not lying. So so, please listen to what your piercer tells you, or you know. Um, if you do tend to go online and, and search for answers, you know, everything that you see is not true, but you know, please take in consideration niggas don't be lying, okay? Um, especially if somebody who's who's already had that piercing and, and you know, they know a little bit more about, you know, that. Yeah, so ladies, if you decide to get new piercings and if you take them bitches out, don't, don't take them out. I mean, you can take them out, but if you take them out, like I said, please keep them out only for a matter of a couple of minutes, not even, not even an hour, not even, not even a couple of hours. Put them back in within a matter of a couple of minutes. All you need to do is clean it and that's it. That's it. Just leave them alone. And you don't want to get infections because that is an open wound in your body, especially in your, your tetas. So anyways. I just wanted to come on here and make that video. And yes, as you can see, I am still in my little cloak <laughs> that I was seasoning the meat in. Um, I did make this video on the same day, actually, a couple of minutes after, for telling the truth. <laughs> um, yeah, so be careful. 
know what you're doing, don't fucking keep your piercings out. Especially if it's a nipple piercing. Specifically nipple piercing. Don't keep them bitches out. Learn from my lesson. And I'm telling you this. You don't want to waste your money, your time, and pain. Because, I'm, I'm, I mean, it does hurt. Okay? I'm a little... It's not like, oh my god, it's just like, I can take it very well, but I know a lot of other people would not consider getting that shit repierced again, um, especially if it's scar tissue. So please be careful and uh, bye.